this problem is a little different than the last one. Not really that much different from uh, finding the probabilities like in um, 2, 5, and 6. You're still doing the same thing. You're finding probabilities. But this time we got a z is less than some number or z is greater than some number. So what's going on in, in a problem like this is you have one region. All the z values less than 1.99. So just to give you a visual, this problem, like say say this number is 1.99, all these numbers down here, and then all these numbers up here, we're going to add them together, right? All the ones in one region plus all the ones in another region. That's what's going on in problem number eight here. So um, the way that you can do this uh, is this is one region, and these two things don't cross over. There's a couple ways to do it. Um, you can, it's, we're finding probability, so remember that's normal CDF, so no matter what, we're going to be using that, normal CDF. Um, this first region, negative 10 to negative 1.99, that corresponds to this region, this first part. Z is less than negative 1.99. Remember, negative 10, we use that to represent a large number of deviations below the mean. So uh, in the z distribution, negative 10 is like negative infinity. All right, and then we stop our shading at negative 1.99. All right, then to that, the or, remember in uh, probabilities we said the or means we're adding. It literally still does. z is greater than 1.99. Now we're going to do the other side. Normal CDF, we're going to do uh, 1.99 now we're going to stop at positive 10 right, and we add those two together we get this 0 0.0462 four decimal places oh, uh, 0 0.0466 alright now uh, other way to do that which is completely fine to try to do it that way is um, find out what's between these two which what's between these two is negative 1.99 comma to positive 1.99 All right 0.943 or 9534 and then subtract that from 1 1 minus 0.9534 this is what's between them. This is what's on the uh, inside of those two numbers. This is what's to the left of the first one and to the right of the second one. Okay, so you could do it that way. You could literally have um, put the one minus at the beginning. Insert one minus, and seeing that you get the exact same thing uh, here, except a little bit more uh, precision here than you did in the previous problem. All right, all of them give you the same thing. So uh, the first way that I did it, that's just literally thinking of it as two regions and adding those two regions together. All right, this one, that's the, the lower region below one negative 1.99 or above 1.99. All right, so that's the way I did it with the first one. Uh, the second one, find the, the area between the two and then subtract from one. Either one of them works. Both of them give you the exact same thing. 